Professor Nyongo, is the food crisis in Kisumu because of lack of investment in agriculture? But I think farmers are investing, but they don't, they're not getting good returns for their investment. People are working very hard, but they're not getting good returns for the investment. Secondly, access to market is a problem. Let me give you an example. When a woman takes her potatoes to a market to sell, she has to pay a fee. And that fee sometimes is prohibitive, because if you compare the amount of money somebody in uh, Sondu or in Chemelil pays for a license to run a shop or to put the commodities in the market in a day, as compared to the owner of Nakumat or other big shops proportionately, you'll find that our people pay much more proportionately than these others, which is unfair. And it creates a disincentive for taking your commodities to the market. When we were in the coalition government, we started these fresh produce markets, fresh produce facilities in our markets. They have not worked very well. Why? Because even when you are taking the, your produce to the fresh produce market, you still have to pay some fees. And that is not good. I'll give you an example. If you go to Chemele or Susondu, which I've got done, you'll find to get a license to run a shop in Sondu, the Kisumu side, you'll have to pay 5,000 shillings a month. You're only receipted 3,500 shillings. On the Karecho side, the other side of the road, people pay 2,500 shillings and they're fully receipted. You go to Chemele Roundabout, you find the same experience. This creates a disincentive for people to use the market, have access to it for their commodities. What do we do? First, encourage people to invest in agriculture by removing these, these, these incentives. Two, make access to market in terms of building rural infrastructure much better. The county government Kisumu has tried to build roads rather poorly, very costly, and that is not very good for the development of our county. And finally, I think I agree with the... Uh,